Okay, for our next video, we will check how to configure a Windows 7 client computer to connect to our 802.1x enabled network. First of which, we need to check if wired autoconfig has been installed. This is done by typing services.msc in the run prompt and check if it's running. Good, it is all set up to automatic. Services is runner. Normally, what you would see is a manually in the stop configuration. So I did this beforehand, so no need to do it again. Next of which, is we need to configure the actual wireless connection. I'm sorry, the, the wired connection. Now there are a few settings that you need to do. First of which, Go to authentication, make sure that this is enabled. Normally this is left, left at unenabled and we sh there are several options. We would normally use Microsoft PEEP if it's an all Microsoft network with Cisco is in the middle. Okay, we don't need to check this and make sure when you go to settings all of these are left unchecked. Everything is unchecked. Go to additional settings. Now, for the specify authentication mode, please only select user authentication. Don't need to save the credentials because we want to log on separately. Press on OK here, press on OK here now. Notice that the network cable is unplugged. I don't have the ability to, to transfer the video. Well, just imagine me plugging on port FA01 in our Cisco switch. And notice what will happen here. Okay, when the moment I plugged my cable, it gave me this window. It's called network authentication. Okay, remember the name of our domain is Riven IT. Okay, and the name of the user account we created there is wired user. Okay, for the wired user, the password will be our universal Riven password. Okay, now should this be successful, um, the output should be authenticated over here so good luck it was that fast I was able to run 802.1x now if I run a Wireshark program okay I could actually see extensible authentication protocol being captured okay so this would be the long card I now disconnect again our cable and try to reconnect okay so I click on start Um, wired user and a filter EF protocol. As you can see, we have several protocol captures over here. And what the important thing is we have a success, which means everything that we did earlier were a complete success. Now it's just waiting for an IP address, which will not anymore wait for it because everything has been done. Okay, so I will now pause the video.